Hey, welcome back to the studio, all you geeks and goofballs. We're going to be breaking down and doing a reaction and critical analysis of the new Wicked trailer. We've kind of been talking about this for a while. I think the big hitter is Ariana Grande is playing one of the characters in this movie. So let's go ahead. We're going to react to this, give our thoughts afterwards. So stick around. Here we go. Are people born wicked? Or do they have <laughs> wickedness thrust upon them? <laughs> Are they kind of such a stupid... <laughs> You're green. I am. Oh. Welcome, new students, to Shiz University, Miss Alphaba. You can room with Miss Galinda. Oh, I know about Pop you. Oh, I saved you some space, by the way. Do you really think this is fair? I do not. I was promised a private suite. But thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> classic song. Everybody recognizes that. Please, everyone take your seats. In today's Oz, a real sorcerer who possesses true magic has become all too rare. Mm. Absolutely remarkable. That was you who made all that happen. How did you do it? I don't know. I've never known. You. Come with me. Of course. Not you. You. <laughs> You're the one the wizard has been waiting for. Glinda? Hmm. You! I know. It's my granny's. I'd give it away, but I don't hate anyone that much. Hey. hey! You should join us tonight. And don't tell me you have nothing to wear. Because you could wear this. Hmm. Hatred. Something the hat. The sorting hat. She doesn't give a twink what anyone thinks. Something is not the same. Of course she does. She just pretends not to. Mm -hmm. The wonderful Wizard of Oz summons you to the Emerald City. Come with me. Mm -hmm. What? To meet the wizard. Why couldn't possibly? me? This is your moment. I'm coming. <laughs> bad is happening in Oz. The best way to bring folks together is to give them a real good enemy. You have no real power. That's why I need you. Don't let her get away. This wicked witch. A broomstick. Don't be afraid. Okay. Huh? You're not afraid. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me. All right. Fun. First impressions. First yeah. freaking impressions. Okay. I gotta say, I am way more looking forward to the soundtrack <laughs> than I am. <laughs> than I, I am the no, movie. I would. I agree because they picked people who can sing. Who can and sing so, great. I mean, this is a musical. They didn't. Although I, they didn't show that much music for this being a musical. But also, Honestly, check this out. Listen. Didn't. Yeah. So the guy who wrote the music for the Wicked play, okay? Okay. He's the same guy who composed the music for Hunchback of Notre Dame. Ooh, did not know that. That's so this crazy. guy is very good at writing music, very good at writing epic Fine. anthems. That's why I'm saying to get the people who can sing, like Ariana Grande, oh, right? Singing these, singing these masterfully crafted songs. That's what's going to be awesome about this movie. And that's probably what's yeah. awesome about the stage play. I wouldn't say, yeah. look, Ariana Grande comes off as a bit uh, 
bubbly, a little fun, I guess, but it's not yeah. not terribly different from what we'd come yeah. to expect. Um, so I don't think the acting. Well, look, I, you know, this is the this is the problem. I don't think the acting is going to be bad. I do think the writing is going to kind of be rough, like a lot of exposition maybe. here, a lot. Maybe um, I'm looking forward to the wizard. Um, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> How about this, Cynthia? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know her last name very well. Cynthia Erivo. The uh, Wicked Witch. Uh, she's playing the Wicked Witch. She's playing El Elphaba. Um, what do you think? I I kind of find her character on screen feeling more like internally deep, yet uh, coming off a bit flat. Yes. What do you think? And so, I I hate to bring this up, and this might make people upset because well then don't. No, I'm go going ahead. to because we need to acknowledge it. So it did feel like they kind of all the the witches, the popular witches that we know and love from the musical, they kind of had to cast them as now it all say different. It. Oh, that's just what we saw in the trailer. First, um, that's what we no, saw in okay. the trailer. We have we have the white representation, we have the black rep representation, well, then we, we have, have the green the Asian representation. representation. Sure. Uh, then we have the the Asian representation of in, Michelle or, Michelle Yeo, yes, um, Madame Morible, Ma Morible. Yeah. Ma 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 um, so it it does feel very much like we have to be diverse, and it's well, like, yeah, okay, okay. Listen, look, we know freaking Hollywood is this is their agenda. Okay, it's part yeah. of the agenda. So if you could say like, I don't have any overt problems with this, I don't have no. a problem that Cynthia is casted as a woman who's going to be looking green. Um, I don't have a problem no. if she was casted as a different character. I really don't. I don't think, I don't think that has no. any bearing in the world of Oz. However, I do think that writing is going to be the win it or lose it situation because Probably. if every bit of dialogue is like either something that's bubbly and kind of like a comic relief or whatever, and just a ton of exposition nonstop, <laughs> like, let me tell you what I'm thinking right now, you know? That's going to be a problem. Like, I, I want to feel the deepness of these characters, and I want you to show me, not tell me. And yes. I already feel like from this trailer, we're at risk of being told everything. That's why I said I think the best part of this movie is going to be the epic soundtrack, you know? I'm one. I would say I consider myself. Maybe this is not. But I consider myself like a musical, the musical guy, musical fan of this channel. Musical because... fan is good. Don't say musical guy. Yeah, musical fan. <laughs> musical fan. Okay. Um, of this channel, I mean, you enjoy them, and why enjoy them here and there, but I, I feel like I enjoy them more than you guys. But I would probably, just seeing this trailer and not watching the movie, I'm probably going to put this up against like a movie like Into the Woods, where it right. wasn't that special, but it wasn't like... It wasn't bad either. Terrible either. It was just like... What it just it kind of was. existed. Right? Yes. It just existed. So now, Emily I mean, Blunt and Into the Woods is really good. Yeah. I Emily mean Emily Blunt was really good. No, we had some we had some people that, that shined in that movie, but overall it wasn't like a Le Miz mm. or like the greatest showman. And so it well, people weren't talking about it years later. I think it'll be like, oh, I watched it, that was fun. But sure. that's all it's going to be. I don't feel like it's going to be like super hyped up. So that's, I guess, my thoughts on how. Let I'm us gonna... know in the comments what you guys are feeling with this trailer. We have a very yeah. clear vibe of what this film is going to be like. Do you like the direction they've chosen? Do you mm -hmm. think it's going to be a little too bright and bubbly for the kind of story that it deserves? Um, just get, share your thoughts. Thank you for subscribing yeah. to the channel and watching this video. We'll see you next time.